don't compare yourself. <laughs> okay, because you see our neighbors, they'll be like, here's some two poor girls happy. Really? <laughs> well, 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 I don't, I, I mean, it depends. For me, it depends also because it depends on the woman too. And it depends on the g guy. Like if the guy really like extravagant, like, oh, even if it's pr from province and sh sh she wants to treat the woman, mm. like, but only, always the woman like, Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Don't want to say anything. Yeah, but I think. Okay. I mean, I could be. I could be very wrong, but I think. It depends. I, I, also, I, I personally think women from the city have just a higher standard of wanting to live a particular way. Well, because they see, like, uh, like they see, they see the, like, you know, like, a certain lifestyle. Certain li lifestyle. So that's why I say it's a lifestyle. bit more. If you want to be in the dating game, especially if you want to have a pretty girl or decent girl you're gonna have to pay more right because what wh wh where are you gonna wh where are no. you listen because uh there are decent women also that doesn't you just you just need to pay a lot but listen my, my point is when you but live, it's just because your mind is like she lives in the city and then she, you know that she has a standard already so it depends how you treat it's like me anymore. i don't expect a city girl to be like hey what's up we're gonna go on the boulevard eat some tempura no it's not gonna happen you tell me me a girl from makati is gonna accept this? You never know. There maybe maybe, maybe there are, but you're, I'm talking about the majority, percentage majority. wise. Yeah. You think? Usually they will like, oh, there's a new restaurant I wanna try. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm talking about. Provincial girl, I'll be like, Dai, we're gonna go get some chicks to go. Does he know? <laughs> so Dai, we're gonna go to chicks to go. Does he know the place? No, no, no. This, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you tell the girl from the pro provincial area, Dai, we're gonna go to Long So, Long So this town. We're gonna get some chicks to go for everybody. Wow, very good, very good. Am I right? Am I wrong? Yeah, because she doesn't know any. That, that's that what I'm much. saying. That's what I'm saying. The cost of <laughs> upkeeping a relationship in the city might be more than the girl in the province. Because if I tell the girl in the province, "Hey, we're gonna go to Dumaguete," I'll say, "Oh, wow." Yeah, hey, but it's a what big if after? So, so let's say, what if after you bring her to the city and she get exposed? Oh. So now you have to spend more because she no, got no, exposed. No, no. She was like. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I saw this. I want that. I want I, that. I have a good solution for that. What? Get another provincial girl. <laughs> switch. <laughs> switch, switching. switch over. It's crazy. My, I'm very, like, she can tell you, I'm, I, I complain about money all the time. As in, I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend. I mean, I mean, right? Am I wrong? Yeah. I, I don't like to spend. It depends. Uh, depends. It depends. Because his depends. hobby is more money. No, it's, it's my hobby. And then <laughs> if we're going to do in big investments on houses and whatever. Yeah. Then I'll go. But if a girl tells me or gives me a vibe where I cannot date her because I don't take her out to the nicest restaurants, don't take her out to the whatever, trust me, uh, my money is more important than that girl. Is no go. And I know and I grew up in I grew up in the city. So certain girls It's like our first date. Yeah, I think we pay we, half. We, we pay half. <laughs> but we went. I, I took her on a date once. I'm gonna have no money. I tell you, hey, listen. Let's go. I'm I gave her some snow, some snow bear. You know, snow yeah, bear candy. Snow bear. I said, I don't got no money, baby. Like, okay, that's why. You know, manga. Yeah, that's it. That's me. But my thing is, I have been in a city where, uh, especially in Dumaguete City, I, I went to Suleiman University. I was hearing my guy friends like, bro, she wants to go to this restaurant. I, I gotta take her. I'm like. Are you serious, bro? You're gonna let that that, that that dictate? So what if you weren't gonna take her to the restaurant? What would happen? So I don't know, bro. Maybe she'll break up with me. Cause, but you know, do you understand the mindset of like? And these are Filipinos. Like, can't, like think about this. Maybe I'm right, and maybe I'm wrong. City girls, you can take to the province from time to time, but not all the time. Cause some girls would be like, "Is this what? What is, what is this? Yeah. Like, what, what is this? Like." And uh when you encounter like the adventurous one yeah. that would be fine but with the art kind of arty arty so they don't provincial they don't girls have a le very low threshold like babe we have no table we're gonna eat on the floor so you go ahead let's go let's eat on the floor am i right am i wrong yeah but babe um they don't have no seats in the restaurant can we just eat by the boulevard yeah sure let's go get some food some city fi city fired girls would be like what you know what you, you we're gonna eat outside no air conditioning no this no that am i right am i wrong yeah i'm being real i'm being real i'm being real 
this is like oh dude, this is not for everybody this is like i wouldn't uh, generalize for uh, we're not, oh, we're not, i'm not generalizing but uh, i have been based on what trust me what we see or what we experience i have seen this is the worst one i have seen girls who i know are from the province who get very arte right arte like 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 listen you you just came off the cornfield don't act like you you came from a rich family there are some uh province women also that's what i was saying like if you expose them and then they're not used to it so they were like oh yeah i want to try this i want to try so that. why do you think so foreigners so so i'm almost done with the video here why do you think foreigners are so keen on dating girls from their front province then if they, if if they're pretty much the same way why do you think foreigners really go after girls from the province and be real for me maybe because uh for they for them province girl i didn't I, this is not oh everybody don't have knowledge that much so in their head it's like for them it's like uh very lucky very lucky that this guy have money because they think like american have money they generalize every every americans have money because they don't know they don't know uh yeah. so they don't know that these people are uh, they just live for for their pensions so i think that's how it is and then she's uh american he's american or she, he is american the people in the province especially american will if they see the house is not like you know nice looking house it's like poorly made house so they think that they can like like you know how us uh, like what do you bring them that? up bring them up so that's, you, how, that's you, what I that, feel. This is what I feel. A lot of my friends feel this way. Do you think many foreigners have like a Jesus Saving, complex, yeah. a savior Jesus complex, where they think they're going to save the whole entire family type thing? I think I some of them do. I don't know. But, I don't know. I, mean, I can tell. The, the, I can tell. Because some of my friends also, they were like, they just want to marry American because they want Amer white uh, or American <laughs> American kids. Uh, white kids or, I mean, papered kids? white kids so it's more oh, so it's more of an aesthetic yeah, well, looking growing up like like my my <laughs> cat playmate my my like my friends they were like one day i'm gonna have a uh, kids have blue eyes something like that so yeah oh wow that's sick that's sick though yeah because they think no uh because of the what we saw in the tv so they were like oh blue eyes and uh what you call blonde hair. hair it's good looking so oh, i'm gonna have a kid like that like well i mean this is my person i might get people upset at me city girls i i girls from the city i'm not really cool i, mean, I just wouldn't want to be with i mean that's why i chose a but girl. i stay in the city no, no no but you're from the province okay you're a provincial girl okay you work in the city you live in the city but you're not from the city the reason why I chose Ruby specifically is because from what I see, city girls, they're, they're just, let me just say, they're, they're just a bit too high maintenance. And I'm not saying that provincial girls are not high maintenance because there are a few that become high maintenance. Yeah. But that's because you spoil them. But even in the city, you will find a girl. Like no, no. You in the in the girl in the city, you will find good girls, like yeah. solid girls that are. Yeah. Don't ask that much. Whatever, whatever. But if you look, if you look deep enough, mm -hmm. if you look deep enough in their line, they come from a provincial family. Yeah. Or they come, or like, there are other types of women or men or whatever families, who had money at one point in history. And generation, throughout the generations, they lost all their money. But the expectations are still there. Mm -hmm. like, like my grandmother. My grandmother was one of them. My grandmother's father was a big businessman in um, Cebu. World War II, the people sold all the, their jewelry. My grandfather bought all that jewelry from the pawn shops. He was flipping money. But what happened was, his kids, my grandmother was... was Raised with a particular um, uh, lifestyle. lifestyle, jewelry everywhere, maids, nice houses, whatever. Everything was given to them because the father lost all the money, and it got it got it got dwindled down to almost nothing. She had to adjust to a provincial life, mm -hmm. as in accept 
whatever's in front of you and be grateful and then be more simple. There's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of dynamics that work out in certain ways. That, that's my point for me. That's why girls in the province tend to be, they tend to endure more pain. They tend to, in, they tend to be more resistant to uh, things going down as in like, Oh no, we have no more money. What are we going to do? Yeah. A for me, provincial girls are, I think uh, maybe built a bit, a little bit more stronger, you know, stronger to like, you know, to withstand like, babe, we have no more food. Okay. Let's go out. Let's go in the field over there. Let's go get some calabonga or yeah. let's go get something or let's go, you know, kill one of the chickens or whatever. But that's a very small portion that transitions to the rest of their life. My mindset was always like, they're a bit more traditional. They'll stand by me more, no matter what happens. They might be built a bit tougher when it comes to certain things. But then again, city girls are very resourceful too, because they've been, they go through a lot of, like a lot of crap with guys. Who are better, provincial boys or provincial or city boys? Who treats <laughs> women, who treats women better? Who treats a it depends because there, you know, there are there are a lot of like uh, womanizer in the province also too. So on, uh, I don't think so. It's all it, it depends. Um, depends. That's not, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not including depends. me. That doesn't depends. include me. <laughs> but I mean, who who do you? Oh, fine. Let's do it this way. Um, who would you if you didn't meet me? Who would you prefer on marrying? The type, the attitude, and the types that come out. A city boy. Or a provincial boy? Probably a provincial boy. And with why? A, with, a, with a lot of uh, ambition. Why? Just give me a why. Because there are city boys that have a lot of ambitions too. Because... Um, why would you choose a provincial boy? <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. I don't... Actually, me, uh, there's no difference though. As long as you are a good person and uh, what you call that, respect woman, and also has a big ambitions in life, not like a drink, drink all the time. Hopefully, that gave you some type of value, because Ruby's gonna make some videos now, and I don't want to bother her. And make sure to check out her channel right here. I'm not pointing at her breasts. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just right. <laughs> this is where it's gonna be. But um. Yeah, invite everyone to your channel. Please visit my channel, Ruby Vergara. But most likely, there is like vlog and beauty products. Actually, I'm I'm gonna make a video for. Oh a yeah, she's gonna do my face. There's a one company that send me their product and they wanna they want me to try it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out and then give a prom like a, a honest review. So hopefully you, you guys can check it out. And the question of the day is. How much do Ruby and I look alike? Comment down below, cause we get. <laughs> Whoever can guess the age. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is our age gap? Guess my age and guess her age and what our age gap is. Um, either way, thank you for your time and uh, make sure you check her channel out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.